Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Stormworks. I just wanted to throw down a really quick video on how the seventh segment uh, advanced and non advanced work. It took me a couple, uh, maybe like almost half an hour just to figure it out. I didn't realize how the advanced worked right away. So, anyway, I built this really quick board here. As you see, there's seven buttons, which kind of correlates to the seventh segment, and the way the seventh segment works is, you'll notice that when you throw it down, seventh segment, they have channel in start, on and off. What this basically means is this will use seven channels, and wherever you put the number is where it starts, so it'll use one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, if it started at t nine, then it would be nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you know, until 16 for seven. So just to make it easy, I'll start it off at one. This is how I have it set up. And as well, I have my, built my custom logic board. So you'll see here, battery, everything, composite. So I have an out, or yeah, well, it says input, but this is an output from the custom logic board into the display panel. And then I had to create, I created seven inputs for on and off, and that's what these buttons control. And I'll quickly show you the logic board so you can see how that looks. So this is the channel one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then correlates to each of those buttons. You see channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it collects all the composites, so it goes down like a waterfall and outputs. And this is what ends up going to the seven display. This one I'm just using is for the non-advanced seven segment. So that one's fairly easy. You could just take a number and it will output. So you know what? I'm going to change. Right now it's at 1. So I'm going to put it to 9. And let me just update this. And I need to update this one because it's just the 7 segment. And it's going to be channel 9. So I'll show you how it works. So 7 segment basically allows you to turn it off, on and off the individual ticks. There's seven ticks. As you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven. Which, so if they turn on the first one, top one comes on, and basically just kind of makes its way around. It's stuck on the board. So you can see how that can be useful if you want to display maybe some custom messages. Um, you know, maybe like, uh, let's see, like a U or, oh, there's a Y, there's an H, there's a U, you know, and obviously you'd have to use a micro board to, depending on the reason of what you want to display, so it turns these on and off. Definitely not going to get into that. You know, now that you kind of have the gist of how these turn on and off, you know, you can play around to figure out how you can display your different messages. So the non-advanced one is very simple. It will only display numbers. And that's, I have here controlled by number input. So if I change this to one, it's not working right now because I didn't hook it up, did I? Yeah, there we go. I mean, and then you can put other things into this too, right? Like, um, maybe like speed or something. So it goes one to nine or zero to nine. Very, very simple. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I wanted to show. Just because, you know, I had difficulty figuring out what this was. Uh, I know for 7 segment, it use, in the electrical world, it uses binaries and stuff like that. And I was trying all the binary stuff. 
until then I saw on and off and then I wasn't getting it working. I, you know, I was getting the one tick on, but I was like, okay, how does it work with the other ones? And then I noticed channel in start. So, okay, that clued me into, well, there's seven ticks, so they must use seven channels and that's it. Uh, you know, I didn't see anyone else explain that. I was searching uh, on Steam and YouTube and all that stuff and didn't see it. Anyways, that's it. I uh, hope that was useful for you and hope you have a great day. Thank you.